Hey y'all, it's Drea and I'm here breathing barely. <laughs> I'm literally on the ground in a compression garment or you'd call it a faja um, because this is the best lighting and at this time of day and um, I needed to get this out here. I needed to do this. So my notes are over here. So if you see me looking over here, it's not like I have too much interest in going over there. Um, but yeah. Whew, this thing is trying me, girl, I'm telling you. So with that said, let's go ahead and get into it. My name is Drea. I'm 34 years old. I had weight loss surgery uh, many, many moons ago. I successfully kept off 150 pounds, and I decided to get my excess skin removed. Um, I guess you'd say for a little bit of vanity reason, I want to look good naked. I mean, who the hell doesn't? But also... The last time I had a flat stomach was when I was like six. <laughs> so I mean, in my adulthood, I'm ready to live it. Um, so I decided to have a breast lift with implants and had a tummy tuck. And I will get more into all that stuff a little bit later. But this video is more going to be about my pre-op journey or you'd like to call it my little adventure that I had. How did I get here? Kind of, I guess you'd say. And, um, yeah, that's what this is going to be about. So I will just go ahead and get into what happened and where I'm at. Um, I had plastics on January 24th, 2020 with Dr. Gudicelli in Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic. Yes, I had it out of the States. My reasonings for that, I will just be honest, it's more of the contouring quality and price. I'm not even going to say that. I, I'm not even going to front with you, okay? Price, yes, it has something to do with it. I mean, it is out there. But with that said, I did do a lot of research beforehand. I had somebody that else I was looking for. I had told him that I wanted to do surgery in the DR. There was another doctor that I was looking at, but I kept getting thrown off with that doctor. They do too many surgeries a day. They Their work was kind of inconsistent. Um, so that's why I decided not to go with them. Um, and the person that I that had surgery with, I was lucky enough to be there with her. So she had surgery and I was able to see her results. And because I saw her results, that's why I decided to go with my doctor. He is very consistent with his um, breast work and tummy tuck. The incisions are very low. Um, he could do the Vixen look. He can do the all natural look. He can do whatever you want. Um, so I was... Uh, Definitely set on him and couldn't be happier. Um, his bedside manner was amazing. Amazing. Um, and yeah, so he's a really great doctor and I couldn't be happier with how I look right now. And um, I'll show you those results later. So I did research and I'm going to tell you now, I'm not the type of girl that whenever I start dating somebody, I start like, you know, really like digging into like their Facebook or Instagram or trying to stalk them. I mean, I think the last time I stalked somebody was like, I don't know, like, like November 10th of 2018 or something like that. Um, other than that, I mean, I have not really stalked anybody. <laughs> So yes, I stalked my doctor. I'm just going to say that. Now I, I started looking into him like way before that, but the, like the last time was like November. So I, I, I mean, other than him. So with that said, I, um, I did start looking into him. I mean, it was like January of 2018, 19, 2019 is whenever I started looking at him. And that's, when I knew because I looked at realself.com. Great website. If you're looking into any kind of plastic surgery, it's in the States, United States, out of the States. Um, anyone you want to look up, you can see. And you can not only see that their work because they'll post pictures of it. You can see people's reviews. You can see questions, any kind of questions you have. You can, it's like a community of people that I want plastic surgery or have had plastic surgery. It's amazing. Also stalked him on Facebook. Also stalked him on Instagram. Um, I am, yeah, I mean, you know, all those episodes of you really came in handy. I'm going to tell you now. I just, <laughs> I'm just going to put it out there. And if you're not watching you, you probably should. 
<laughs> just so you can start stalking your plasty searching or your boyfriend girlfriend but don't go over the edge like he did um, <laughs> so yeah I will also say there's a little bit of downfalls when it comes to going out of, out of the country, right? There's the exchange rate that you have to worry about. There's also uh, communication um, when you get there. There's also um, communication when you don't get there. Uh, their follow-up's not, I'll be honest, follow-up was not that great. I'm a, but I will be, I will just be the first to say this. I'm a very planned um, person. I'm a very um, strategic person as well. Like I like, I, I just, I honestly, I need to know what's happening before it even happens um, just because it puts my mind at ease. And if you are more of an easygoing kind of person or you can finally let go of that control, then I say out of states is not such a bad option. Do what's comfortable for you. This is your life. Nobody else can tell you how to live it. Just to put it out there, just in case anybody wants to say anything about me having surgery out of the States. Um, I did survive, so <laughs> here I am. I survived. So with that said, how did I get there? Uh, I did see him whenever I was down there because somebody previous or somebody I know did have surgery with him. And so while I was down there, I was able to get a consultation in person. If you don't, if you can't do that, they usually have you send in pictures Mm, full nudity pictures. So if you're not into nudes, um, get used to seeing yourself naked. That's one thing that they are not shy about <laughs> is being naked down there. Um, so you usually send your pictures, um, and then they'll send you your quote. And then after that time I sent in my deposit, uh, I use sharemoney.com. That's what I used and, uh, sent in my deposit, told them what date I wanted. And it was super easy. It was just like, oh, yeah, sure. Here's your date. Um, they send you this list of like do's and don'ts. Uh, do's is like start taking iron supplements uh, if your iron's low. And uh, I mean, if it is low or not, I mean, it's still not bad to take an iron supplement. <sighs> don'ts is like stop taking anti-inflammatories 10 days in advance. Uh, they send you like a packing list. Um, they send, and then all of a sudden um, they tell you like all the things to expect. And some things that I was expecting that didn't really happen. Um, I sent them in my flight information. At that point, they make all of the arrangements for the um, somebody to come get you from the airport. They send you pictures of the person that's coming to get you. Because I'm going to tell you now, when you get to the DR and you get to that airport, it's a little overwhelming because... I don't speak anything but English, okay? I, I mean, I'm not even going to lie about that. I don't. I may say like adios or um, ipapi or something like that, but that's about it. All right, mama, mama don't know all that. <laughs> don't tell my dad. My dad was be, be very disappointed in me right now. <laughs> so it's very overwhelming. I don't speak Spanish, um, and there's tons of people standing there, and they all want to help you when you get to the Dominican Republic. They all want to help you. They all want you know. They're all out there to make money, that kind of thing. So, and not at one point did I feel unsafe. I'm just going to say that not at one point did I ever feel unsafe. Um, from the time that I got there to the time I left, I felt taken care of. So I sent in my flight information. They made all the arrangements for me to be picked up um, and to go home. Um, and then I sent in a complete blood count. And if you if you're having issues, if you are deciding to have surgery outside of the States, I'll say this now. My, um, my doctor, I did not know that she had a baby, so she's on maternity leave. So, and I'm a kind of a procrastinator at times, uh, in this instant, whenever I needed a complete blood count. Um, and the reason why they check that is they want to make sure that your blood cells are good and your white blood cells and all that stuff. So complete blood count goes over a lot of things. It, it covers a variety of underlying issues that you could possibly have <laughs> not mentally I mean like internally um so with that said I did my complete blood count if you're having an issue with that like I did because the doctor wanted to see me but he wasn't accepting new patients and this and that and I was like what you can go to quest diagnostic or go um if you go on a quest diagnostic.com there is a way that you can order your own report it cost me like I think thirty dollars 
ordered my own report, scheduled my own appointment at a Quest Diagnostic. They did my complete blood count there. So if you're having an issue with that and you're doing anything out of state, or if you just want to know, there's a way that you can order um, your own, re your own um, report. You don't have to wait on your own doctor for that. So I had to send that in two weeks prior to my surgery. Um, and then the most important thing I will say, if you are having, well, a, one of the mo one of the more important things to do is to download the WhatsApp. It's, it's an app. It's a way that you can communicate with people, um, um, encrypted messaging, but not only that somebody in a foreign country. So at that time, after I sent them to my complete blood count, which is two weeks prior to my surgery, I went ahead and I got a text from the recovery house because in another country, they have recovery houses. Why have I not heard of this in the States? Why? I mean, maybe they do. And maybe they're like a fortune, but a recovery house, it's like 75 to $85 a night. My quote included 10 nights. Now they told me that I need to stay 13 days. It included 10 days. I need to stay 13 days after my surgery. So I had to pay the additional nights, which were 75 to $85 a night. But then the recovery house, pretty much what happens is you go there and they take you back and forth to your appointments. Um, they feed you three meals a day. You can get your massages there, which is a totally different thing that I've never heard of anybody in the States getting. Um, and they help you with all your medicines. They come in, they take your blood work or not your blood work. They take your, um, you know, they take to make sure that your, um, gosh, damn it. Heart rate. What do you, uh, it's escaping me right now. Welcome to Dreyland. <laughs> They come in and they give you your meds and they make sure that your blood pressure is good. Oh my gosh, there it is. Blood pressure is good. They do that and it's phenomenal to take care of you. If you need anything, you text them on WhatsApp and they'll come up to you. It's amazing. And this is how they communicate you through you all the time is WhatsApp, okay? So Recovery House, America, let's talk about it. Let's get it together. Let's, let's include it in our recovery plan something um there's nurses 24 7 it was amazing couldn't be happier with my recovery house that i chose um but there is additional options if you decide to go with somebody else usually a doctor that you decide in um the dr we're just going to say the dr a doctor that you decide in the dr will have other options when it comes down to the recovery house so the recovery house texted me and they told me like hey we're going to expect you this time and we look forward to seeing you. And um, can you just confirm with us what your uh, flight is? Because you're supposed to confirm that you actually do have a flight <laughs> a couple days later. And yeah. And then from there, it was smooth, smooth as silk. Like it was, it was great. But I will just say, if you are a planned person like me, if you need confirmation, don't be afraid to reach out and tell them because they're not going to reach out to you first. <laughs> so that's how I decided or that's how I got to where I wanted to be. Um, and most of my research was it had to do with the doctor, their work, um, any deaths they had. Are they certified? Um, I asked questions. Um, don't be afraid to ask your doctor any kind of questions. If you're kind of a, like, a um, kind of person that just kind of leaves it up to fate kind of thing, good for you, but I'm not, <laughs> I need that. So I will, uh, just in this video here, I just want to let you know how I got there. Um, what the process was, if anything, and how I got to where I was. So if you want to know anything else, you can message me or let me know. I will, uh, my next video is probably going to be about what kind of questions you should ask in the DR because I think that, or when you're at, you're asking a doctor period, because I think there's a lot of questions out there that I think people don't ask and are too afraid to ask. Um, but anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I know it's kind of all over the place, but, um, I'll touch base soon. Bye.